See an orange blinking light on your pump? Open the Willow app to review any alerts. And in this video, we'll walk you through troubleshooting the most common issues. The most common causes for an orange blinking light when using a milk container are residue in the valve, a tucked valve, or that the flex tube grips aren't securely in the pump sockets. Separate the pump from the milk container. Detach the flex tube. Unlock and push the insert out to detach. And then open the cap. First, you'll check for a tucked valve. If the valve appears folded, untuck it gently with a toothpick. Next, check the milk container for milk or soap residue. To remove milk or soap residue, rinse the milk container valve with a steady stream of warm water for 30 seconds. For any stubborn remaining residue, use a cleaning brush to gently clean it out. Or try deep cleaning your container. To do a deep clean, assemble the containers and set the dial to number 2. Fill the container with one part white vinegar to two parts water. Close the cap and shake for two minutes with the cap facing down. Then set the dial to number one and pour out the vinegar rinse. Finish by disassembling, rinsing thoroughly, and letting dry. Let the magnets do the work as you carefully close the pump again. Close it straight on, not from the bottom or the side. Make sure the flex tube grips go into the pump sockets. Try aligning again with your assembled pump. Hold the pump just firmly enough to the breast to create a seal. Don't push too hard or the milk container may shift out of place. Press play and wait for your pump to begin the stimulation phase. Then secure your bra. If you still see an orange blinking light, let's try something else. Sometimes an orange blinking light is a sign of wear and tear. Disassemble your pump and its parts to check for signs of damage, tears, or holes. Remember to replace parts every 90 days or sooner if you notice wear and tear. First, check the flex tube for tears or holes. Bending it makes it easier to see any damage. Next, check your milk container for cracks or defects. Check that the dial is working properly. And check that it still has four magnets. Finally, check the inside of your pump for cracks or damage. Did that work? If not, let's move on. Like any electronic device, sometimes your pump just needs a restart. First, separate the pump from the milk container. Locate the small restart hole next to the power port. Gently insert the blunt end of a paper clip or earring back into the hole until you feel a slight resistance. Pull the paper clip or earring out and wait a few seconds for the buzzing reboot noise. Now that you've reset your pumps, let's reassemble and try again. If you still see an orange light, let's try one last thing. Another common cause for an orange blinking light is misassembly of pump parts. When assembling, make sure you press the flex tube all the way onto the insert tunnel spout. Press the blue-green end of the flex tube straight on and firmly against the cap. Set the dial to number 1 and close the cap. The number 1 will be visible and the number 2 will be under the cap. Let the magnets do the work as you carefully close the pump again. Close it straight on, not from the bottom or the side. Make sure the flex tube grips go into the pump sockets. Try aligning again with your assembled pump. Hold the pump just firmly enough to the breast to create a seal. 
Don't push too hard or the milk container may shift out of place. Press play and wait for your pump to begin the stimulation phase. Then secure your bra.